but white remains better because you're winning a piece and you still will harass black on the king side. Yeah, the Winauer, I think Pankaratov is actually like a renowned French French uh, expert, unless I'm completely making that up. Uh, by the way, did, did, wait, did Knight F5 happen? Yeah, he just went back. He was fully intending on the Knight to die and just making some sort of blockade in the position, which, okay, that's fine. Wow, no. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Vichy's like, nah, I'm going to win your knight and we're not going to trade rooks. Like, I'm not, I mean, knight h7. Still just so mesmerized by the move knight h7. <laughs> it's so I disrespectful. I mean, he could have <laughs> just taken his knight. And Vichy's like, Vichy has a sense of humor. He's just like, no, I'm not taking it. But, like, you know, it does make a lot of sense because this rook on h1, it is defending the white king. Yep. It also is covering that b1 square in case of a queen b6. So the knight on f5 immobilized because the knight e7 is loose. So I actually love the decision. I never would have found that myself. I'm being completely transparent. Uh, but if we had traded rooks on h8 instead, you can already see the evaluation is going in black's favor. It says equal, but with rook h2 check, problems with this white king over here, I can completely understand the move as it's justified. I just wouldn't have seen it in advance.